the Catholic Church says they are enacting their First Amendment right to deny LGBTQ people from fostering children. A church is denying people from doing work that, well, their religion says we're all called to do. Let's talk about it. My friend tagged me in a post about how the Catholic Church is um, going through these court proceedings and it's all the way up to the Supreme Court. A court that we know is not balanced, it is heavily Republican right now, and there's a lot of fear around things like, you know, women's rights and religious rights and the separation of church and state, obviously. The Catholic Church believes that the state of Philadelphia should never have been able to retract their um, contract with the Catholic Church to allow them to foster, to, you know, deal with the proceedings of fostering children to uh, families in Philadelphia. The church is saying that, well, they have the First Amendment right to, you know, do as they, as they want with their religion and freedom of speech and stuff like that. Don't quote me on all this. I'm not perfect, okay? If I messed up on any of that, go on the internet and, I don't know, read about it. <laughs> but you get the point. The point is the Catholic Church is trying to deny people their right to be parents because they're LGBTQ. And one of the worst things about it is that they are saying that LGBTQ people are unfit to be parents. That we are literally not capable of being parents. And this upsets me so much because this is not an argument I'm just hearing or reading about in a Facebook message. This is something that I hear from people. They also stated that it's not, like it's unhealthy for the, the child to grow up in an, in an LGBTQ parented family. This is so frustrating to me because this is something I've heard from someone in my own family that they don't think that LGBTQ people should be able to adopt children. I don't understand why people cannot grasp the fact that LGBTQ people have so much love to give away and want to share with all people, especially children, because we were denied for so many years, decades of our lives, our own right to love to fall in love, to share love, to express love, to be in love. We lived so many years of our lives feeling, thinking, believing that we will never get to be married, let alone parent a child. That now that we can do both of those things in many places, all we want to do is do those things and do them to the best of our ability. Just like every heterosexual person out there, just like every religious person out there. I don't understand why people who are so against LGBTQ people think that we are just incapable of these basic things. When quite frankly, many of us are way more passionate and not afraid of showing our passion to others in this world. So how dare you try and weaponize God? I have shared it before. I will always share it. I am a Christian. I am not Catholic. I was raised Catholic, but I do go to a 
non-denominational church. I am very open about that. It has been a very uh, long journey for me uh, going through church from the time I was 16, 17 years old. I'm 34 today. And thank God I'm at a place where I know who I am within myself, within my church community, and with God. And what I know is that Jesus, if you want to say you follow God and you follow Jesus, Jesus was a man that said to love everyone. We are called to take care of our neighbors. That is why so many people, or one of the reasons why so many people choose to foster children. Because we are called to be of service. So using, weaponizing the Bible, God, Jesus, or anything in that universe to say that LGBTQ people should not be involved, should not be allowed to do something, yada, 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 is not of God. And quite frankly, it's disgusting. I hate the fact that I still, to this day, wonder what people are going to think when they see me with a child. I hate the fact that I wonder, am I going to ever um, get to a, like, find myself in an encounter in my everyday with someone questioning my ability to be a parent, fostering, adopting, whatever. I am grateful that I live in Los Angeles in a place that embraces all people's right to be parents. I don't fear that the state of California will ever do anything other than celebrate LGBTQ people and their freedoms and liberties and rights when it comes to parenting and things like that. But I know that I'm in, in that place. And I also know that there are a lot of people who do not have these rights. As my friend tagged me in that post and I read that article, I thought to myself, my goodness, what if I'm going down this journey and someone tries to fight the state of California and they win? And my right to foster a child or adopt a child is taken away from me. What if I've been raising that child for months, years, prior to them being available for adoption and me adopting? And my right to be able to foster that child is taken away from me. And I have to re-give that child up. That is different than fostering a child for months, years on end, and having to reunify that child with the child's biological parents, biological family. That's hard. That is really difficult because you learn to love these kids. They become your family. But at least you know that they're going to be with their, their flesh and blood. They're going back to the best situation for them, I guess. Rather than probably what's happening to many people in Philadelphia right now wondering, my goodness, are my rights to foster in jeopardy? We have to protect our liberties and say, no, you cannot bully us, you cannot destroy us. If I can provide a home for a child who is in a dangerous situation, why can I not do it? Why am I not equipped well enough to do that? Why am I not good enough for that. I am here to tell you, I am. I have so much love to give, so much love to share, and that's what children need. They need love and protection. They need to know that when they cry, their needs are gonna get met. They need to know when they're hurt, that someone's there to 
rub their boo-boo and let them know that it's going to be okay. They need someone who is going to say, no, 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 you can get up. You can do it. You're good enough. You're strong enough. They need encouragement. They need support. Thanks for watching, everyone. I know this video was not the typical video of mine, and it is um, not much about my journey, but I do think that people need to talk about what's happening in this world because we got to remember we don't live in just our state, in our city, in our house, in our apartment. We live in the United States and we are all one. This is bigger than just your micro area. Never forget that you are not alone. We are all in this together and we have to stick up and stand up for each other. Peace out.